there are certainly times when going out for a run does not seem high on the priority list or the desire list. Today is one of those days. But it's the days when you gotta lace them up. And even if you just commit to going out for a few miles, like I might say, I'm going at least four today. Cause that's a pretty easy run. That's not too much. And if you stick to that, well, you've met your goal for the day. But what I find is typically that four miles would turn into something a little bit more. And the result might be more like 10 miles. Because once you get out there, you know, this is the hardest part. Putting on the shoes, sometimes even just driving to location can be difficult. You put your shoes on, put on your headphones. smell the leaves and at some point you might just get energized enough to say man four miles isn't enough I think I need to do going for more today, but I'm going for at least four. I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful forest. I'm in Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania. Trying to log some miles. Goal is to have 40 miles in the next three days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What I'm thinking is I'll do four today or more. And I'll commit tomorrow to doing three a days. So I will do a run in the morning run for lunch and run for dinner and if I average five or six miles for each of those I can hit 40 so just finding different ways to piece it together and make it work both with my body making it work for my body so that I don't get injured or you know too sore to run the following day so I can also do what's healthy for getting my weekly mileage in. And oops, silly me. Time to, here we go. Gotta do this. Watch it sync up. And now we go. And that's how you get started when you're not wanting to run. <laughs> you just do it. You just got to do it. And what I'm doing today is I'm mixing up my run. And I'm starting by going a route that I might normally do, but I'm running it backwards. So, it's a way to maybe get your mind in a different place. 
reset and by doing it backwards might add just enough interest to get those extra miles in something beyond four to poo So, a couple miles in to the uh, light four mile run. <laughs> Not sure if it's going to stay that light four mile run because I'm going to hit three here uh, pretty soon. And I still need to get back to the car. And I promise you, it's more than a mile back to the car. So, there's another tip for those days when you're not feeling like getting out. If you plan on doing four as your light day, what you can do is if you want to try to push yourself, is go ahead and do four miles away from your car or your house or wherever it is you're running. And then you still gotta get back. So that's how you get eight. <laughs>
those are some slippery leaves, let me tell you. Because <laughs> what you might not know is that underneath a lot of these leaves are rocks. Big rocks and flat rocks. You can see the little pokies making their way up through, but you can't see the big flat ones sometimes. And those are the ones that are like ice underneath these leaves sometimes. running on wet wood with leaves is just stupid. So, watch just clicked over into the four mile mark. Woo! Gotta watch for that when you're uh, looking at your camera. That's doo doo. Um, just crossed over into the four mile mark and uh, I feel great. Sometimes those thoughts of, I don't have the energy today or I don't know if I, I don't know if my body's up for it or I don't want to hurt myself. Sometimes it's just coming out. And originally, when I left the house, I was even just thinking, maybe I'll just walk. Maybe I'll just walk the whole time. That's moving. That's time on my feet. You know, but I decided, well, I'll just jog. I'll just light jog a little bit, you know see how that does and uh, I uh, just kept jogging just kept running up hills and down hills and I'm not pushing myself I'm not out here trying to get any PRs or uh, see what my overall time is when I get back to the car I mean I'm curious I'll check it out but it's not the drive today you know the drive today has come out here shake off a little rust, move my body, see how it feels, see if the, uh, some of the little things I was feeling this morning, like my hamstring behind my left knee and, you know, just some little things, seeing if they kind of get worse, stay the same, or as they did today, kind of just disappeared really not a whole lot left of those pains so it's why we do this you come out here and some you feel the uh, breeze smell the leaves feel the cool air and you tell yourself oh four miles isn't gonna be enough 
I need a little more of this. So we'll see. It very well might be closer to eight, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll be 12. Just out here enjoying it and being so thankful for the time I get to have out here. It wasn't too long ago this was a dream, like a legit dream, running dreams, being in the mountains dreams, you know, and uh, dreams come true. <laughs> Enjoying the trails and uh, see where I end up. I'm right now finishing up. Kind of did a lollipop type thing so far. I headed up and over and kind of doing a, a loop of sorts. Except I split it down the middle. I did one half and now I'm doing the other half. Then I'll cross back up and go back down that middle again. But heading the other way and you know, by that point I should have maybe five or six miles in. Certainly five. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is, this is why we trail run, right? Just beautiful stuff. Oh, love it. I knew I saw him. He's looking at me. Hey, buddy.
Sometimes you're planning to go out for four miles or so. And you do nine and a half. <laughs> so, yeah. Wasn't trying to run hard. Wasn't trying to impress anybody. Just going out and spending some time in the woods. Enjoying my time. Absolutely. Yeah. Good day. As the saying goes, if you skip a run, you're probably going to regret it. But you'll never regret going for a run. I never have. I've always been thankful for my runs. So, 